hi people yeah welcome back to my channel i'm dima so if you like what you're seeing on the screen on your screen please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so today i'll be showing you guys how i prepare this amazing dried well dried catfish so this is the way this is how you can prepare your own dried fish at home your own dried catfish at home catfish in this house is like everyday thing i literally use it to make every kind of dishes in this house so i i really love to have them at home always i really love to have them so this is how um i prepare mine so if you want to see how i prepare this fish keep watching all right don't go anywhere stay tuned so guys to get started you need to start off by washing your fish you know this is like a freshwater fish and it has like this slimy um thing on its body so you have to get rid of that because you wouldn't want that death to be part of what you are going to cook so i've gone ahead to wash that i wash that with salt and hot water first you have to wash with salt water to remove that slime the slime a slimy thing on the fish then i went ahead to wash with um salt so right now i'm just taking part of the fish because i'm going to be cooking some parts while drying some parts so i'm taking the part that i'm going to be drying in the oven especially the middle part so i was trying to take um uh, take out the parts that i needed to dry So that is it. I'm not really a a big fan of catfish, like cooked catfish. I like I like it when it's roasted or when it's um dried in the oven. So I also went ahead to take uh the head. I'll be cooking actually I'll be cooking the head. So I I I I actually took the head transfer the head into the pot that i'll be using to cook it so yeah so um for this fish i'll be drying this in the oven for i think for about four to, three to four hours so i'll be drying them in 350 degrees celsius and at at um for four hours so that is it So this is the one I'll be cooking. So I'll be taking this into the oven right now and allow it to dry up. Make sure you wash your fish well. Make sure you use hot water to wash it very well. I don't like that slimy something and I'm sure nobody likes it either. So make sure you wash it very properly before using it for anything so that is the fish in the oven i've gone ahead to pop it into the oven so i'll be drying this for about four three to four hours so after three to four hours i'll come back to check on it yeah so this is the one i'll be cooking i've gone ahead to add some of the condiments i'll be using inside there is curry powder this um uh, uh, meat spice some um pepper so catfish pepper soup spice is also in the pot and um yeah just keep watching i'll be adding in the ingredients one after the other that is the herb the mixed herbal spice i've added the thyme i've added the onions and some salt for taste maggie cube i'm using no no cube so 
so the mayiki will dissolve inside some black pepper grounded black pepper red um, paprika or red chili whichever one you call it so I'm adding that much I've also added the plantains because I'll be cooking this pepper soup this catfish pepper soup with plantains so I've added in the plantains you know cut a uh, fish doesn't take long to cook so that's why i added the plantains and i've added some some um ground uh crayfish just a teaspoon of that and i'm adding in i'll be going in with the water i'm, I'm using hot water the water wasn't enough so i'll be adding extra extra cold water you can use either cold or hot water whichever one you prefer so that is just it that is basically it this catfish pepper soup is very easy to cook and it doesn't take time something that you can cook sharply sharply so yeah guys you can see the fish is doing well it's done already it really tastes great so i'm gonna have to dish out this so guys this is the outcome of it actually i i dried this in oven for about uh, four hours so this is how you can make your own dried catfish at home see how good this is looking it's well dried now but before packing packing them i'm going to remove them from this rack and sun dry it a little just to you know allow it to dry um to be a little bit more drier if that <laughs> makes sense so i'm going to dry it more under the sun before i will pack it yeah you can see how good and nice this fish is looking it it really came out well see how good this is it's still stuck on this rack but i'll allow it's still hot i'll allow it i'll allow it to cool after that i'll take it off from the rack thank you so much for watching and if you like this video give me a thumb up like and subscribe thank you i'll see you in my next one Thank you.